everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Camden and I'm so happy you're here with me today. This video was not planned at all. I just felt a calling on my heart and I wanted to fulfill that and make this video anyways. So I hope you all enjoy it. What I'm going to be talking about today is love. It's something that I see God continue to teach me in my everyday life and I want to share what I've been learning with you guys. Something I think that is so powerful to ask yourself is when I'm face to face with Jesus one day, what is he going to say about me? 1 Peter 4.8, New International Version says, Above all, love each other deeply because love covers a multitude of sins. So God is saying that love shines so much brighter than any sin or any wrongdoing. God is saying that love is so much more powerful. He's saying above all else to love each other. I know it can be hard to love when you don't feel like loving and love when it's not convenient to you. Maybe you don't feel like someone is deserving of your love, but let me tell you this. None of us deserve Jesus' love, yet he still died on that cross for us, and he still loves us every single day, even though we're human and we still make mistakes. What if one day he just came and he was like, you know what, I don't feel like loving today. I'm sorry, but you're gonna be on your own. We would be screwed. God says that he is the vine and we are the branches, and without him, we are nothing. I don't know about you, but here on earth, I want to know God and I want to make him known. Something that happened to me the other day really pushed me into God's word. It showed me that I really don't know God like I think I do. I I need to read his word more and learn more about him because there's always something to learn. And we are never going to be good enough on our own. We're never going to know everything. We need God. And of course we're human, and yes, we're going to make mistakes, but instead of continuing to walk in our mistakes and in the darkness, we need to actually try to shift our perspective and walk into the light, read God's word, and really, really genuinely try to change ourselves. Recently, I have been searching and searching and asking God, what is it that you have for me? What do you want me to do? And I'm just looking everywhere else except for where I am right now. Right now, we are fostering children, and these children need my love whether I feel like giving it to them or not, whether it's hard or not. Right now, they need me. I need to look right now where I am and see where he has placed me in this season. And instead of running from it, I need to embrace it and shine his light because his light is so powerful, it will overcome any darkness. His love is so strong. Once again, he says that love covers over a multitude of sins. How powerful is that? That is incredible. I have been struggling with loving when it gets hard and when I don't feel like it. it I'm going to be honest, it's been really hard for me to push through that and keep on loving anyway. But that is what the devil wants. He wants us to give in and he wants us to stop loving because it's really difficult to keep going and keep shining God's light. He wants us to stop and he wants that light to continually get darker and darker until darkness is all over our world and there's no love. All of this division happening it's just bringing us farther and farther apart and personally I don't understand it. I really don't. I'm We are all made fearfully and wonderfully in the image of God and skin color shouldn't have anything to do with our worth or how we feel about each other. It just will never make sense to me, but I'm going to continue to love everyone no matter what their past is, no matter where they've come from, no matter what they say, everyone needs love. There's not one person in this whole world who can go without it. Love is so powerful and God made it for a reason. If you look back in the Bible and you read all these stories of how God's love achieved something so great and so incredible, your mind will be blown. Like it is just so amazing that something that seems so small, like love, yeah, we all know what love is, but do we really know the deeper meaning and the purpose behind it. By no means do I know everything there is to know about love. I'm still learning. I just want to share with you guys what God has been teaching me. I feel like it's such an important thing 
and instead of pushing it aside, I really want to try to actually apply it to my life. And I wanted to share it with you guys. And I hope that this was helpful to some of you. I hope it spoke to some of you. I know that this video was pretty short and unexpected. I wasn't planning on it, like I mentioned, but I felt such a strong desire to pick up the camera and just speak this to you guys. So anyway, I'm so thankful that you decided to click on this video. I appreciate you so much and I hope you have an amazing day. I love you guys and I'll see you on my next video.